I don't have that conceit. Okay. I'm too little a man. When I was younger, I, I mistakenly believed that I had some power or importance. But the beauty of getting older partly involves the fact that we are only very, very little people. But I believe that has... Uh, I believe that helps music get out, if we think we are big people. It's very hard for music to get through. The musician that believes that the musician creates music, very mistaken. The music creates the musician. Uh, if there's anything, uh, if you're asking me what, what is of value to me, one, one of the things which is of value, of value to me is to trust in the inexpressible, inexpressible benevolence of the creative impulse. Uh, at the moment in, in our world, and 20 years ago we would have said in the world, the world, now we know it's our world and essentially we are one person, but there is a flux going on. You mentioned earlier the uh, collaborations between different cultures and why this might be. Is this to do with uh, the Western tonal harmonic tradition losing its way? Well, the Western tonal harmonic tradition lost its way a hundred years ago. Uh, there's a, a vigor about early rock and roll music, which you won't find in the Western tonal harmonic tradition. Uh, for me, as a musician, beginning my professional life when I was 21, it was a question of how could the power of Hendrix be introduced to the Bartok string quartets, or what would Hendrix sound like if he were using a more sophisticated vocabulary? But that was uh, a concern with the the blending of the European, the, mainly the Eastern European tradition, with the Afro-American tradition. One had a vigor, the other had the sophistication of language. Nowadays, we realize we are only one person in one world. Things are in flux. We don't know where we're going exactly, but we know we are not where we were. So I characterize the present position as being a bridge between. Being on the bridge, it won't take all the baggage that we had before. It won't take the weight, so we have to let go of a lot. Opinions, attitudes. Nevertheless, I trust the benevolence of the creative impulse. And out of, out of the conversations between different cultures, something will emerge. What it might be, I have no idea. <laughs>